Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to turn your animal, your puppy, your kitty cat, whatever it is, your pet into AI art. And in all kinds of styles. In fact, I'm going to give you a reference list, a set of reference lists that gives you access to over 10,000 different styles. I'm going to tell you up front here that this is an absolutely crazy addictive thing to do. So if you get addicted easily, just a, just a heads up giving you your warning you're going to start off saying oh wouldn't it be cute if my little puppy was in an astronaut suit and then you know five hours later you're going to be trying to put him or her on mars with a magic wand chasing aliens you know fixing a go-kart it just gets crazy so uh that's just my first warning to you guys this is amazingly fun and uh, it makes your heart very, very happy. If you love your animal like I do, it's a lot of fun. All right, let me show you a few examples, and then I'm going to show you all the techniques you need to know to do this. It's quite simple. Here are just a few examples. I'll just click on a couple here to show you what I've got going on. And I'll start with some crazy stuff. So here's one. I got this. I got my French English Bulldog Kingston. Uh, I got him as a caricature cartoon there. Then I've got him in outer space, and I've got him as a with neon lighting i've got him as a hologram i've got him in an orange jumpsuit like a criminal i got double exposure i mean they just the list goes on i've got him in a in a freaking cartoon or in a in a comic book pardon me it just goes on and on and on it's just so much fun all right how do you do it let me show you the first step is you want to type in forward slash imagine like you usually do then you got to go to your finder or your windows explorer and grab the image of your animal. I've got this one here. This is my dog, Kingston. He's half English, half French bulldog. I'm just going to go ahead and drop him in and hit enter. Oops, I missed it. Pardon me. Uh, I made a mistake. You do not have to hit imagine. You just have to drag and drop your image in like I've done here and hit enter. Uh, the imagine part comes now. Okay, so here we go. We've got him and we've clicked on him. He's in. Now, I'm going to right click on his face here and I'm going to go to copy link. This is a link that you want to probably make a note of so i've got to open up my text editor and i just copied it in here i'll copy the new link in here and you want to just keep that for reference you don't have to but it's a good trick now let's go forward slash imagine i'm going to hit command v on a mac control v on a pc and copy and paste in that link then hit space bar and now comes the fun part we can go with any type of style you can imagine so i can go um i don't know let, let's just do one uh kawaii this is like a kind of style and then i just hit enter and watch this it's going to go it's going to take a few seconds when it comes back i'm going to show you the four examples and then i'm going to show you access to lists i mean thousands of examples that you guys can use all right welcome back so here's what it came back with on the first run here and uh you know they're very very cute but only the really the second one here kind of does it for me because my dog has this white patch in between the brown patches between his eyes so I really like this one here so what I would do next if I want to keep this one I would just go ahead and click on U2 which is up sample so we're going to make an up sample of it and it's going to run a job but it's going to give it a lot more definition and more detailed and also I'm going to click on V2 because I want variations of that specific image so I'm going to come back when that's done show you what we got and then we're going to go to the reference list and it's just going to blow you away I promise all right, welcome back. So here's some examples. This is the upscaled version. I like it. It's got the white between his brown little face here. He's got that cute face. Love it. Here we go. Here are the variations. If I wanted to run with another variation, I would just click on the same process. But I think you get the point. Again, this is extremely addicting. It makes you so happy making, having fun, uh, making fun art with your animals. So I'm going to show you another thing you may want to consider. I'm going to type in forward slash settings and then hit enter. And when you do that, oh, let's hit enter, Curtis. That's right, hit the button. You may want to consider moving from fast mode to relax mode. The reason why is because this is so much fun that you are going. You could potentially burn up all your fast mode hours, and then you'll have to get another account, or you'll have to upgrade your account like I've done. But if you switch it to relax mode, you can just go nuts. It takes a little longer, but it's not going to eat up your fast hours, and you may not have to pay the extra money for it. So just keep that in mind. All right, with that out of the way, I've shown you the technique. Now let's look at the references. I'm going to click on Chrome here, and here they are. There are four references. I'm going to link them in the description. It's going to give you access to over 10,000 different styles I'm gonna start with Andre Kovalev's here on the on the left side first and the reason why is because it's very visual so if you go to this website here see go to v4 styles 
And then here's what you can do. You can look at illustrators, painters, different techniques, different uh, photographers. You can really go nuts on this. I'm going to go with, let's start with an illustrator because I kind of like the cartoony look. And then when you click on that, the V4 illustrators, look at this. You can get all these different illustrators. And if you want to use that particular style, let's say you really like Akira Toriyama, just click on this little plus button and it's going to copy by Akiri Koriyama. So when I go back to Discord, I could go forward slash imagine. And then when I hit command V, you'll see that it says by Akira Toriyama. So we've gone ahead and just added that into the prompt and it's that easy. Here's some cool little double exposure type effect, but with uh, paint. Um, again, all of these different artists, there's hundreds, there's thousands on this website. It's crazy. I can't recommend it highly enough. And man, does it go deep. And again, if you want to look a little more, there's different techniques. So if you want, you know, to learn a different technique, so you want some old school daguerreotype or old school Polaroid pictures, cross processing, it's all in here. All right. The second one I'm going to show you real quickly here is this one here. It's the Will Wolfkin and you can use his style sheet as well. So if I click on this button here, it's gonna take me to his style sheet. And then in here, you can see a bunch of different options like digital, colors and palettes, drawing and art mediums, artists. Let's click on artists just for the uh, for why not. Again, this will be linked in the description below. And then when you see that, you'll be like, hey, I would love it if I had my, you know, a picture of my dog in abstract. Well, I just drag and I just click on that little button here. And then I just go, oh, okay, well, I can just go painting by Wassily Kondinsky. I'll pronounce that right, I hope, whatever. I just command C or I just click on the image and it shows me different styles. And then you just go into, into, into it again. I'll just delete this. You go imagine, you copy in the prompt of, the, of, your, of your animal, command V, painting by Wassily Kandinsky, and that's it, you're done. It will make the image in that style. So these are the main tools. The other one that I'll give you access to is this reference list here. This is a bunch of characters and if you wanna look at it this way, this is a, this is a Google sheet, so it's like a spreadsheet of all these characters. And if you like, you know, it's got different artists, so it's got, you know, Bujo and all these other people. You want it in a landscape style, all the different painting styles, all these different painters. Again, you can go through here. It's got links to the references. It's absolutely crazy. There's over 10,000 styles for your, for your pet art. I hope this video helped, guys. Links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.